Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a little get ready with me video uh, real quick in between some of my clothing haul orders coming in uh, and some of my other ideas I'm brainstorming. So tonight my husband and I are going to the Chris Stapleton concert. So I thought I'd do a quick little get ready with me video. Um, nothing fancy, again, we discussed that I'm pretty simple when it comes to my beauty regimen. Um, so, I don't know, hang out with me and let's get ready. This is me, I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Yeah. Famous, so, so famous, number one, desirable. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it. This is me, I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. First, um, I'm gonna do my hair. I know a lot of people do their makeup first. I like to do my hair first because my hair dries really fast. So I like to blow dry it real quick and that way it's done. Otherwise it's half frizzy, half wavy, and it looks terrible. So I use, first of all, I always put some kind of mousse or something in my hair because my hair is really fine and thin. This is called Liquid Spell. It just was a free sample that I got uh, to give me a little bit of volume and I just kind of do this a little at the roots of my hair to give me a little something something when I blow dry. Something for the blow dryer to grab onto. My hair is a day a day dirty because I think find that it works better when I blow dry it if I have a little day's worth of, if it's too clean, it just doesn't work well. It's too fine and too flimsy and fly away. Um, I have this tool, it's like the blow dryer brush. This is, I don't know what the brand is, but that's the brand, Forsey. I got it off Amazon, I don't know, but it's fabulous. I'm going to blow dry my hair real quick. Um, I start with my bangs, I have my part to the side, just kind of blow it out real quick. That way, um, while I'm working on my makeup, I don't have to worry about it drying weird. So I'm sure you don't wanna hear this going off in your ear. So I'm gonna blow dry it and I will be right back. Okay, there you have it, hair's done. Again, no fuss, no mess. Um, just blow dry it out. I recently cut myself bangs. Uh, I had an appointment with my hairdresser who's fabulous. Love you, Jocelyn. Um, and then I got really impatient and cut it myself. So I feel like it hides my, it hides my forehead wrinkles that I'm self-conscious about. I don't know. Plus I just wanted to change. For my makeup, um, I wish when I was younger that I had learned the importance of a moisturizer before I got to the age I am now, I have really, really, really dry skin. And I think that's affected the elasticity of my skin. So I wish if I could tell my younger self anything, life lessons, nothing about boys, nothing about life, just freaking moisturize your skin. It'll cause you less stress when you're older. So, um, I always put some kind of a primer on. This is Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. It's amazing. It's also amazingly expensive. So I get a little sample of it and try to make it stretch. Um, but any kind of moisturizer will do. It doesn't have to be a specific. I use serums because anything that's heavier on my face makes my face sweat. Like my face has to be able to breathe. So I would say the one purchase I probably have splurged on the most. And I'm sure you've seen all the crazy ads on social media, like Instagram and stuff for this Ill Maquillage Foundation. And you're supposed to be able to do this um, quiz and it matches your skin tone perfectly. And holy smokes, it really does. It really, I was super, super surprised and impressed I didn't want to like it as much as I did because it was a little pricier than what I would normally pay for foundation. It's a medium, light to medium coverage because I don't like a full face. Um, but considering working from home that I don't go anywhere, I only wear makeup maybe once a week. So it should last me a while. But, um, so I put it on my beauty blender and pat it in. I don't know how good my lighting is in the bathroom right now. But I wanted to get something for you today. 
blend it. I would say since I've lost weight, one of the biggest things I'm self-conscious about on my skin, I mean, I have like loose skin under my arms and of course my belly, but it's this right here. I hate it. It drives me crazy. I have a cute little pet name for my wrinkly neck skin, but I won't say it because it's not really appropriate. You know, that's me though. I'm not always appropriate. So, I just put this and blend it on both sides. One nice thing about your bangs being covered. My forehead's really wrinkly, I mean really dry as well. And so I don't really put a lot of makeup on it. It's covered and it's not necessary to, but I just kind of go over it a little bit to blend it. And again, I'm not well versed in putting makeup on. I could be doing this all wrong. I used to use my fingers to put foundation on until I was told it was like a big no-no. Um, I have used a brush at times, which I like. Um, and I'll link these products below in case you're interested. Please excuse my lovely bathroom. Okay, so hopefully you can see, I mean, the lighting's not super, super good in here at the moment, the angle I'm at, but hopefully you can see how the good coverage that I get from this. Um, again, I like to wear makeup without looking like I'm wearing makeup. So for, so this little thing right here, and I'll link it below. It's a company, it used to be called Mascara, and I can't pronounce what it's called now. Um, it's like S-E-I-N-T. Um, it is, oops, you put it on. It's a cream foundation, contour, and all of that, um, blush. And this little magnetic case is really awesome, and this is like eyeshadows. Um, I like it. It's convenient when you're traveling to only have one kind of thing that you have to carry. Of course, I have my new foundation now, so I don't really. Um, it comes with a contour. I just bought this little stick just because um, it's quick and easy. Um, the one nice thing about these little cream things is when they start to get in the corners like this is, you can heat it up and kind of get every little nook and cranny and it, it'll make it stretch. And this is a very affordable product. Um, it was not expensive at all. And again, the convenience factor of having everything in one place was really nice too. So I am just doing this for today. This a little, and then we'll blend. I would love to say that I'm like into makeup. I'm into what I look like with makeup on, but knowing how to put it on and make it look good is not my forte. My middle daughter, Courtney, is into makeup and she's beautiful and she's amazing at it. Like she's she doesn't even need makeup, and I know every parent says that, but I'm I'm dead serious. And I'm gonna have her, I'll have her do my makeup one day on here. And you can see she's absolutely gorgeous. And so this is blush, but you can also use it as lipstick. So I like how it's kind of multifaceted. But yeah, I'll have Courtney come on here and do my makeup one day. And you can see how amazing she is at it and how beautiful she is. All my kids are awesome. They drive me crazy, but they're they're pretty awesome. They're I make good babies. So or just see the lighting in here. Got some red mark underneath my eye. All right, well, we're gonna just leave it at that for now. Gonna flip to the eyeshadow side. Again, for eyeshadow, I keep it pretty simple. Use my wide brush. And I just kind of paint on a little. Now I have this cool little thing I'll show you. It's, it looks like a crayon and it can be lip, cheek, and eyes. And I do that a lot just because I'm lazy. I don't know if you can see. Just patting it in. You probably don't need the extreme close up either. You know how people put eyeshadow on. Um, 
sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to, I mean, this isn't even a lot, but I still get too lazy for that. And I have this crayon. It's by Flower, which I think is Drew Barrymore's line, someone told me. And it's a stick. I put it on my eyes, blend it, put it on your lips, dab it on your cheek and blend it. So this is a nice, convenient option as well. So that's all I'm doing for my eyes. For my eyeshadow. Now I'm really blind. Those of you who know me know that the big E is a struggle for me on the eyes chart. So I have to get super close. So I have a little angled brush. I wet it on my tongue and I use black eyeshadow and I just quickly dab it. Again, I'm really blind so I apologize because I have to get my face right next to this mirror. And I just blend it on my eye lash line above and below. If anybody has any good makeup tricks, let me know. I love the look of a winged eyeliner with liquid eyeliner. I have tried thousands of times and I cannot get it right to where it just annoys me. So I just don't bother trying anymore. But I love the look. I think it's gorgeous. I just can't do it. I guess that's why I'm doing clothes videos because I can't do hair and makeup. Okay, so that's all I do for my eyeshadow. I mean, my eyeliner, I used to use shadow and mascara. I like Roller Lash by Benefit. It's my favorite mascara. Um, I'll use it until like I scrape the insides and get everything off of it. I don't, I, again, another thing I would love to be more into is false lashes, because I have no eyelashes whatsoever. But I wear glasses, and I'm afraid if they were too long, they would hit my glasses, because I have had my eyelashes like super, super thick with mascara and have them kind of brush my frames or my lenses, and that's annoying. Um, but you know, just kinda gotta work with what God gave you. And again, I kinda like, you know, more, I say natural look, but nobody natural, well maybe some people have natural eyelashes like this, I don't. But I don't curl my lashes, I'm afraid I'll pull them out and I don't have enough to risk. And last but not least, this part's tricky because again, I can't see without my glasses, is eyebrows. Um, I just do what I can. I'd again, love to be able to like fill in eyebrows. One day I wanna get, if anybody does eyebrows and wants, you know, free advertising, I would love to have my eyebrows done, tattooed on, permanent makeup. Um, let me look at my mirror here just to make sure my brows don't look crazy. Okay, so that's kind of it. That's pretty much all I do for my makeup and my hair. Um, putting my stuff away. Hold on. I feel I need a little more color on my cheeks. Sometimes I'll go in and just add a little. Just 
just put a little nude lip. I'm a glosser girl. I don't know. I, matte lips don't look good on my wrinkly old lady lips. I like gloss. It plumps them a little. I get lip gloss from everywhere. This is Burt's Bees tinted. With like nude underneath it. All right, so that's that. So hold on, let's see what we got here. See if you can see. I know my ring light's annoying, but apologize for that. All right, here's my finished product. Lighting's not super, super good, but hopefully you can see my makeup, how I like it, my hair, simple. It's gonna be super, super hot tonight, so I might put it up. Um, I'm gonna come back in a little bit and we'll do my outfit. So hang tight. All right, supporting the Willie Nelson. It's a country music concert. Um, it's also hurricane season in Florida. Let's see, um, hurricane season in Florida, so it's probably gonna be 80, 90 degrees and super, super humid. So this is my outfit of the day for my Chris Stapleton concert tonight. I'll take a step back so you can see it again. Sport Molly Nelson, cut off jean shorts. My shoes are Crocs brand, like a rubber flip flop because it's probably gonna be muddy because it's raining every day. So I wanted something that was cute, comfortable, and okay to cut dirty. So thanks for getting ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, please, it, I'm gonna try to link in the description box. I will try to link the products that I used if you're interested today. Um, I sure I got Amazon, shorts or American Eagle. Um, but as far as the makeup goes, I'll try to link what I can. Um, if there's anything you're interested in seeing me try, any brands of clothes, I've gotten some text messages from you guys. I really appreciate um, the input. Brands of clothes or um, themes. Um, again, I'm probably gonna do a one dress four ways. So I have like a plain black dress that I will accessorate for four different um, occasions. That's probably gonna be one of my next videos. Gonna try to upload again, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on how busy my week schedule is. Um, but thanks for hanging out and really thanks for the support. I appreciate it so much. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Be safe, take care.